Russian President Vladimir Putin thumbed his nose at the world when he took Crimea from Ukraine, and it looks like he plans to hold on to it forever. Based on the bridge he's now building, Elizabeth Palmer went to the construction site in Russia. 24 hours a day in three shifts, workers are racing to build a colossal bridge 12 miles long and strong enough to resist ferocious winds, earthquakes, and ice. There is no doubt that this bridge is an engineering feat, a really impressive technical achievement, but it's also a bold political statement. The bridge will connect southern Russia to the Crimean Peninsula, which until 2014 belonged to Ukraine. Then in March of that year, Russian troops seized Crimea. After a hasty referendum, President Putin announced it was now part of Russia. At home, he was hailed as a hero, while outside Russia, he was condemned. But even when America and its allies slapped on sanctions, he didn't back off. This $3 billion mega project shows he's doubling down on the land grab. The bridge due to open next year will be Crimea's umbilical cord to Mother Russia. Trains, cars, and trucks crossing this giant span will carry everything from food to tourists. Already, it's a source of pride and a local attraction. At a lookout on the shore, Vladimir Kurilkov and his friends have come to marvel and pose for pictures. Absolutely. The bridge underlines that Crimea is ours, he tells me, and we are never giving it back. Officially, America is saying Russia has to do just that, give Crimea back to Ukraine to get those punishing sanctions lifted. But 12 miles of concrete and steel are saying that's just not going to happen. Anthony? Elizabeth Palmer in Moscow tonight. Thanks.